we're very grateful to you, Cole, because you have just volunteered to be hooked up to our lanyard graph generator. <laughs> no, sorry, to our lanyard graph generator. We've got a tool here. What do you This one, of course, is a lot smaller than the one behind me, but it does the same thing. It's going to help us well, separate out the electric charges. But since it's smaller, it's not going to make big sparks like the one behind me. We don't need to worry about that. Now, Weston, before I hook up this, I'm going to tell you what's going on so you know what you're getting to do. When I turn this on, this uh, rubber belt we've got inside the neck of this device is going to spin up and down. As it goes, it's going to carry extra negative charges. Yes, right? It's going to carry extra negative charges up to the top metal dome. We get a lot of the same type of charge. We think like charges should help. We're going to push as far away from each other as possible. Bad, but bad news. This dome is surrounded by air and plastic, in which are insulators. It's just something that's hard for electric charges to travel. So they're going to be stuck up there. So come on, come on. Let's <coughs> step to the side for just a moment. Move this right up and step on to this wooden block. And put your hand flat against this dome. Are you going to get shocked from it? Hmm. Ask me afterwards. <laughs> <laughs> now, Weston. Well, hold on. Let's think about what's going to happen. Weston is not an insulator. Weston's a pretty good conductor of electric charge, which they'll be able to flow through pretty well. Which means, yeah, something like that. Except, instead of making nice music, we'll do something else. You know. um, those negative charges are going to flow onto him. They can't go any further. They can't spread out anymore because he's standing on a wooden block and the void is an insulator too. So they're going to be stuck on him and Weston will be building up extra, extra, extra negative charges. So that means more negative charges in your left shoulder. Right? Uh, Let's think about what you might feel. Well, there's going to be more negative charges in your right shoulder. 